And as the U.S. makes progress fighting the coronavirus pandemic, things are getting much worse in other parts of the world. Tonight, Tokyo's gone back into lockdown, and the situation in India is absolutely dire. A record high of 330,000 cases in just the last 24 hours. We get more now from CBS's Lucy Kraft. India's agony is on full display, with even parking lots commandeered for mass cremations, some running 24-7. Shell-shocked workers say the victims include preschoolers and newlywed couples. India's health care system is underfunded, but even in the relatively well-equipped capital, hospitals have started running out of oxygen. I've been to every hospital in Delhi to get my mother admitted, but there are no beds left. Please help us. Do something, this man pleaded. Dr. Saswati Sinha, who works at a hospital in Kolkata, said she and her staff have been traumatized by constant, desperate pleas to be admitted. Each time you turn away or you tell a patient's next of kin that we do not have a bed, that makes you go through a lot of emotional turmoil as well. Log Prime Minister Modi this week called the viral onslaught a COVID storm, but has allowed mass political rallies and elections to continue. A traditional Hindu bathing festival, which drew millions, has been blamed for helping supercharge spread, pushing India ahead of Brazil to become the world's hardest hit country after the U.S., with over 2,000 deaths per day. Okay. Japan has just announced another state of emergency just three months before the Olympics are supposed to start. This island nation has had far fewer cases and fatalities than other rich countries, and it's promised the Olympics will go on. Nora? Lucy Kraft, thank you.